Hey guys and welcome back to yet another amazing version of Trader Talk. Now guys, today I'm going to be diving into my charts. I literally have it right in front of me right now. I'm going to be breaking down some charts with you guys, but primarily I want to discuss the GBP USD trade that we are taking um, two weeks ago. It is absolutely smashing it at the moment. We've made a lot of money. Let's look into the trade. Let's obviously remind ourselves why we took the trade and where exactly GBP USD is going to be heading to so that you guys can see for yourself if you can find some trading opportunities i'll be speaking about the euro as well and bitcoin i want to educate you guys today as to how the strategy that i use to trade the forex market can also be used to trade cryptocurrencies as well yes bitcoin has been presenting some very nice trading opportunities i have actually taken some trades here and there but today i want to share with you guys behind the scenes how you can use the top down analysis what i teach on the forex mastery program i know most of you guys are on the forex mastery program yes what I teach on the Forex Mastery program, how can it be applied to you know, other markets like the cryptocurrency market and even the in index funds, the S&P 500 and commodities as well. I keep preaching to you guys that this is the most realistic way to trade the Forex market, but hey, I can only preach so much. I need to show you guys how exactly it's done. Once again, if you haven't already grabbed the program, the link is going to be down here in the description. It is fantastic. It is realistic. It is... The best way to go about forex trading you're going to see that for yourself in a bit so the link is going to be in the description or somewhere around the video but without any further ado i'm going to jump into my charts but before i do that i also want to say a big shout out to the forex mastery students who are absolutely smashing it i see the results i see the telegram messages i see the testimonials i am extremely proud of you guys i will keep on speaking the truth about forex until the day i decide to retire yeah you guys are the real ogs and for those of you who are still struggling with the market i suggest you go ahead and grab the program so that you can say goodbye to deposits and no withdrawals okay there are people on the program who are absolutely smashing it and making withdrawals and making a killing so enough about that once again let's dive into the chart so that you guys can see how to go about making money with the forex mastery program let's go how's it going people welcome inside of my screen what you have in front of you right about here is my gbp usd trade that i had predicted sometime in march so about the 20 son of march brother maybe 25th 24th last week in march basically and i predicted that gbp usd was gonna this is obviously my um entry exit and my stop loss regions and all that mapped out for you guys so i'm just going to go ahead and delete it i just want you guys to understand um where my entries were at and where my stop losses were placed all of this i had discussed in my previous video um live here i also did a webinar one week after that um where i came on here to speak about the trade again <laughs> And I told people who hadn't gotten in that they were they had a chance to get in when the market obviously retraced all the way back to my entries. As you can see, I was in profit, came back to my entries. I told people this is gonna definitely drop. If you want to get in, now is the time to get in. And we have officially hit my first target. So I just wanted to use this to map it out. But I'm gonna to explain to you guys what exactly is happening with GBP USD and what I see. Is the future for GBP USD? So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Um, I hope my mic is recording. Anyway, so why exactly did we make this trade happen? Now, the Forex Mastery student will be in the best position to understand the rationale behind this trade. It was a very simple and straightforward equation. So you guys know on the Forex Mastery program that I, I always like to come. I, I'm a top-down analyst, right? I I I, I implore the use of higher time frames to give me the most realistic and re re the, the most real reliable directions guys i don't know what's happening to me too. maybe i need to drink water give me a sec okay i rely you know heavily on higher time frames to tell me what exactly is going to happen on lower time frames that's the that, that's pretty much the ideology behind the top-down analysis so I mean, for me, it was very, very simple and straightforward. Uh, for, uh, it was a, a basic candlestick pattern. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. You know, just by looking at the higher time frame, I could, I can already tell where exactly GBP USD is, is heading to. I mean, it's so easy once you know how to do it properly. Um, so for GBP USD, um, 
we obviously were struggling to break above this region so looking like a triple triple top and stuff like that now GBPUSD what it is 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 rejected this top um, barrier of this huge monthly time frame range don't forget guys we don't trade on the higher time frames I like to stress this again we don't trade on higher time frames we use the higher time frames to understand what exactly is happening in the market so the market rallied into here we re i mean we w wanted to break it the first time couldn't break it we pulled back again you know i was even on this trade jumped again wasn't happening and then what happened was the market came and formed what they call uh, a head and shoulder pattern as you can see it's the left shoulder head and right shoulder i remember coming on here and saying at the time, GBPUSD was a bit confused. They didn't want to stay above the neckline. It would pip down. It would go up. So we didn't know what was happening. Forex mastery students, what do we do when we don't know what's happening? We stay aside. Okay, until the market gives us a clear direction. This is a typical example of sitting on your hands and doing nothing, right? So, um... We were just like, you know, the market was jumping up and down the whole place. Nothing was really happening until... You know, the market eventually broke the neckline very clearly, as you can see. And Forex Mastery students, you know, in module five, trend reversals, we speak trend reversals. You would see where I have spoken about this several times. For every time we break the neckline, what do we do? We wait for some form of a pullback into the neckline. And you know what to do, daddy, that I can't really share that here. But all everything that was indicating a trend reversal happened. Okay, we make uh, trend reversal kind of uh, chart pattern form at a major level. Break of neckline is it's a clear trend reversal, right? And the market pulled back to the neckline and we started to drop again. Okay, so this whole time I was still not trading GBP USD, I was still watching it. However, the market continued to give us what lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs and we came and you know we stuck right down you know just couldn't break back above this level and obviously with a candlestick pattern that formed at this support which now turned resistance so and obviously when i look left you can clearly see that the market wants to come and test this level on the left hand side how do i know this because there's a rule in forex that states you see, you see the touches of the trend line on the way to the upside. The, when the market is coming back down, it would respect those areas of the touches. As you can see, this is a this is this right here is a touch. Okay, this right here is also a touch. But I'm gonna take this this touch because I ideally should be this one. Okay, ideally should be this one, but I'm I'm just because I want to be on the safe side. I don't know how much GBP USD because at the end of the day, well, to be honest, guys, we have more space. Because <laughs> if I zoom out now, I can see we actually have more space. Give me a sec, guys. Let me actually. Don't mind me. I'm just being very conservative. I don't like to be overly optimistic. You know, be like, yes, it's gonna give me ten thousand pips. And most people think that's how I trade. Naturally, not. Like, if I if I I'll give you a little trick, guys. If I feel like the market is gonna fall. 5,000 pips now. I would usually like, to I would usually put my levels, okay, hypothetical. Obviously, I'll map out my key levels the way they should be, but my take profit might just be some pips before the major area because I've seen several situations whereby the market gets into those major zones. Before, right before it gets into those major zones, we start to see the market turn around, you know, and stuff like that, okay? Like, it, it, it can be quite scary, especially when you've made a lot of pips. Just imagine you have bagged five, 4,500 pips and you're just waiting for that extra 500 pips and the market doesn't get to your 5,000 pips. It just stops at four, five and just starts reversing and before, at the end, before you know what's happening, at the end of the day, you've only been able to take 1,800 pips when you could have bagged four or five. So, for, like I say, I come on here and I speak from experience. So, I, I always like a situation whereby I'm getting out before the market actually starts to reverse. But in this case, I can see that what is actually what is actually the major level here is somewhat of a major level here is actually 1.2754. So... GBP USD does still have some space to the downside. Um, I'm just going to be watching this. Um, watching this. I don't think this is too 
bad. Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to. If I move this up to accommodate this level right about here, we can get. We can come to a compromise. Touch one, touch two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, guys. So, you see, it's as simple as that. Now I have been able to. You know, it's simple. Like we have all this space to the downside. So the high time frame will give you, will tell you, okay, where exactly the market is heading to. So long story short, guys, let me go and explain the trade and as to where I feel GBPUSD will be heading to in the near future. So what actually happened was um, now, so now we're done with the higher time frame. We know where the market is coming to. It's coming here, right? Then you can scale to your daily or your four hour. I like to execute my trades on the four hour time frame. Uh, my entry strategies are proprietary on the Forex Mastery program. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the program, I suggest you do so. The link is going to be in the description. So before I carry on, right, we noticed that, um, I mean, we noticed that we have a lot of followers from Nigeria, from Africa in general, South Africa, Botswana, Kenya. Shout out to every single one of you guys. Are absolutely amazing. Love, 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 love you guys. Um, but we realized that the, the students from Nigeria are having difficulties paying for their fire forex mastery program. So what we went ahead to do was obviously with the challenges you guys are having with the economy, you can't really spend in US dollars, which is crazy. So we've had to partner with Paystack whereby you can pay in your local currency, which is Naira. So this is for Nigerians only, and the students from Nigeria. So we've put, um, we've put a, a pay stack link. So when you go to the checkout page, so if you come, if you scroll, um, whilst you're watching this, for those of you who want to get the program, when you go to the description, it says, get Forex Mastery program here. Okay, so if you click that, um, it will take you to uh, the sales page. Um, where you get to see what the Forex Mastery program is about. When you click on buy now, it will take you to the checkout page where you're supposed to, supposed to put in your card information, your card details, right? Now, every other person, go ahead and just carry on. You see, fill in the form and click. It will take you, put in your card details. But for Nigerians and Nigerians only, on the checkout page, just scroll down. Just be patient. Scroll down. You see what they call alternative payment and you see the pay stack link right about there. But every other person, South Africans, by Ugandans, Kenyans, Americans, people from the UK, shout out to my British people. Carry on as normal, just go there, grab the Forex Mastery program now, click buy for $99 now, and then um, when you get to the checkout page, just fill in the form and click next and just do your thing. But only Nigerians only have to look for alt the alternative payment method. And I think I'm also gonna put it on the description in the description as well, the pay stack link. So you find the pay stack link in two places. This is for Nigerians only. I know why I'm saying this because we've had a lot of challenges um, and people just crying and complaining that they cannot get the program because of the harsh economic conditions and the government is just messing up. Give me a sec, guys. So we want to cater and provide for everybody. As a matter of fact, the the price of the forex mastery program was actually supposed to be going up um but with the challenges that are going on in africa as we speak i just felt a bit the type of way but eventually we'll have to increase the prices because i'm going to be adding more modules i'm going to be doing a full ass module on cryptocurrency as well um so that's going to literally increase the value of the program so if you haven't gotten it i suggest you get it now and it's a lifetime thing get it once now you have it forever so even when the, the cost becomes one thousand dollars you still have, have access to it so if i were you i'll click the link below you see it on the description and grab it right now so that you can do the stuff properly anyway so back to what i was saying now that we know the overall target it was very simple for me um i just literally my entries were about here somewhere um it was a simple counter trend line break um my entries were about here now forex mastery students you know that my first level target will always be at the 100% retracement. What does this mean? This simply means that once we hit here, this is 100% retracement. How is this the 100% retracement? You probably hear me say it all the time. It's simple. This was a Fibonacci play. This is A, B, C, okay? A, B, C, D completes around here, but this is the 100% retracement. You have to understand that this, this guy is the reason for this retracement. So on his way back down, we have to respect this guy. 
Okay, we have to respect him. So this is exactly why I, I've taken out 50% of my position on here. So I think I had about 13 points, something lots open for the sell trade about here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so as of, as of Friday, when um, the close of the market, I have closed out about six points, something lots, about seven lots. I have closed out um, right about here. Now, what will happen to the remainder of my trade? Let me explain to you guys how it works. Okay, short position. And don't worry, guys, I'm going to be educating you guys the next trades to place and stuff like that. So don't worry. So my overall target is actually all the way down here, right? So what happens to what happens to now that I've closed out 50% of my position? It's simple. I will then move my stop losses, which I have already done, past break even, bring it down somewhere about here. So I have taken out, I have I have taken out a percentage of my trade. I have banked that money. Okay, and the remaining six point something loss that are open is completely risk free because I have locked in my profit. Like I have, you know, moved my stop losses past break even. So I have money in the bank, as in I have this is not unrealized, this is not floating. I closed it out. Okay, so now whatever wants to happen can happen. Now, why do I do this? Because as much as I'm very optimistic about, as much as I'm very, now I remember why I, I moved my level up a bit. Hold on. Yeah, but this level looks like the level though. Overall target. Yeah. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm, I just don't want to miss. I just don't want to miss something. So, where is this swing high and swing low? Ideally, the move would have started from here. So, this is it. Mm. Okay, guys, so from what I can see here, sorry, I just have to, I, guys, you see one thing about me and trading, right? I take everything into consideration. What did I say? I take everything into consideration. I take, I, I, I leave nothing to chance because you hear me? I'm trading 13 lots, 25 lots. I'm trading for big firms. It's a lot of money, so I have to take everything into consideration, right? So I'm just checking every reason as to why it shouldn't happen or why it, it won't happen, right? I'm confident in what's going to happen, but I don't get overconfident. I like to check. I like to check other things just to find out why exactly it might not happen, why it might not play out. So that's exactly what I'm doing. However, that being said, I'm grateful that the market has come to my first level target. It's amazing. Um, move stop losses uh, to break even. Now, um, I do this because I like to protect my money. I don't like to be in, a, in profit and then give it back to the market. Now, two things can happen at this, at this junction, right? We can fly out all the way to the upside. The chances of that happening is about 30%. Or we can carry on to the downside all the way down to one point. Actually, I'm going to move this a bit up to 1.2800. Um, just to be on the safe side, looks like more of a round number, actually. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, give me a second, guys. <laughs> Hold on, guys. So 70% ideally to the downside, 30% back to the upside. Now, I put this... I'm taking out a percentage of my profit here because... Um, I don't want to be in a situation whereby the market starts to rally up against me and everybody's panicking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no. As much as I am very optimistic about the overall breakdown and all that, first level target is primarily um, supposed to be at 100% retracement. Are we going to continue coming down here? I do strongly believe so. And let's, let's look at this technically. Okay, let's look at this technically. Okay, let's look at this technically. Let's try to understand what exactly is happening. So, um... At the moment, GBP USD. Let's go to the monthly time frame. Okay, at the moment, GBP USD will you know pull down a bit further, um, a bit further. Actually, give me a sec, guys. I'm conflicted on a particular level, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think I'm going to stick with this one because I don't want to be overly optimistic. And when I come on the monthly time frame. I can see that this is the candle close as well. All right, fantastic. So, yeah. I mean, now we don't have that much space to the downside, but it's okay. I'd rather, <laughs> I would rather, I would rather, um, I would rather come out here 
um, than to be overly optimistic and then we expect the market to come down and it doesn't come down, it gets here and it starts to roll around. And another reason why that is going to be my overall target is because of this. The Fibonacci extension lines up with that level. Oh, there you go. There you go. So my overall targets for GBPUSD have been revised to 1.28951. We can come lower, but I'm out. I'm out. I'm out at 1.28951. That's why I'm going to close all my positions, my remaining six point something. Lot. So at the moment, I'm completely risk-free. Now, for those of you who haven't already placed this trade, what do you do? I'll go ahead and do. Guys, don't worry. I'm not going to do too much time on GBPUSD. I'm about to jump to Bitcoin very soon. Um... So what do you then do? It's a very simple equation. I'm, if I were you, um, I'm going to obviously scroll down to a one hour time frame and I'm going to watch GBPUSD. Um, I'm going to, I need a break of this level, 1.30017. Um, once we can break here, do not worry, I'll be back on my charts to give you guys some analysis as to what you can do. But right now, you should not be trading GBPUSD. This is a this is an indecision zone it doesn't know if it wants to form a double bottom and fly out or if it wants to break lower so allow for one of them to happen ideally a break of this level and then would have all this space see guys a lot of space will have all this space to the downside and i will be adding to my position and i'll be educating you guys as well so there you go for gbp usd for those of you who traded it with me kudos to you guys you guys have made money with me don't forget to close out 50% of your position. In the meantime, let's go over to Bitcoin so that I can show you guys um, how you can use the top-down analysis, the Forex Mastery Program to trade other markets apart from Forex, okay? So let's go over to Bitcoin and see what exactly is happening. So as you always know, what's the top-down analysis all about? Going on higher time frames and predicting what's gonna happen on lower time frames with what exactly is happening on higher time frames. I mean, I just said the same thing twice. <laughs> So I'm going to have to do my analysis for Bitcoin on a, on a weekly time frame, okay? And I'm going to explain to you guys what exactly is happening. So if I delete this, um, so this is Bitcoin. Now I kept on, I kept on getting the question: Can I use uh, the Forex Mastery program to trade other markets? Of course you can. I use it to trade it, everything. So one thing you guys need to understand is. This is the most realistic way to trade any financial products. You see, we're not just, it's not just, I'm not just here talking about strategy. There's no strategy per se in this game, in, in this whole thing. The difference between this and a strategy is a strategy tells you when to buy and sell, regardless of where the market is heading to. A strategy can tell you to sell, to buy in a bearish market, yes. And literally, you, obviously, you know what happens when you buy when the market is falling. You lose your money. This is different because this shows you what is it going to be bullish or bearish. And also when to buy and when to sell. This is the difference. This is how to analyze a financial instrument. When I say financial instrument, I'm talking Forex, all the Forex pairs. I'm talking gold. I'm talking cryptocurrency. I'm talking um, at least Bitcoin for now because I'm going to explain to you guys why Bitcoin can now be analyzed properly just like Forex. I use it to trade oil. You guys saw I predicted oil at $64 a barrel all the way up to $110 a barrel. Yes, I held my trade. Oil, yes. Gold as well, made money on gold. I didn't take the trade on gold. Um, but I did the analysis here and everybody was sending me screenshots. And the mastery student, shout out to you guys who made money on gold. So this can be used for everything. You just need to understand how to do it properly, okay? And um, patience is key as well so that you don't get into premature trades, okay? So over to Bitcoin. Um, I was going to explain something before I... Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Now, why can we now use Bitcoin? Why is it now? Why is it now possible for us to use um, forex techniques or the top-down analysis techniques for Bitcoin? The reason why it is now possible is because one thing about the market is any instrument that is traded by a lot of people. Okay, you see, you have to understand that the market moves based on mass human psychology, right? 
if everybody's looking at the same thing and looking at the same resistance and looking at the same support, the market will behave in a certain way, right? Now, because everybody's looking at the same resistance, the market will sell off at that level. Because everybody's looking at the same support, the market will sell off at that, so rather would buy at that support level. But if not that many people are looking at a particular instrument and it's just institutions and some pump and dump people that are trading the market like pairs like NZD, JPY or Euro CHF, you realize that it's so difficult to trade pairs like that because there's not a lot of liquidity as opposed to Euro USD where everybody's looking at Euro USD, everybody's trading GBP USD. So because everybody's trading it, it becomes it is easy to predict human psychology. The patterns will repeat. The same kind of trading patterns will repeat itself. The formations will repeat itself. You see the top, the double tops and the double bottoms and the inverse head and shoulders and the you know high highs and higher lows. And once everybody is on the same page on a particular instrument, it becomes easier to trade and predict. Same thing with what's happening to Bitcoin now. Everybody is on Bitcoin and a lot of people have started to apply technicals to Bitcoin. So this is why I'm gradually now adding Bitcoin and very soon other cryptocurrencies um, to my list of things I'm going to be trading, um, you know, in and out and stuff like that. Um, do I believe in the cryptocurrency industry? I mean, I'm not going to speak about that now, but most important thing is can I make money from it? The change in price, of course. And from what I can see, um, the markets are starting to, they were starting to act like, you know, it's starting to give me very predictable signs. So, um, yeah, I mean, I predicted the fall of Bitcoin from the top here. I predicted the drop of Bitcoin from 58K. All the way down to right about actually i predicted it to come a bit lower to 32k but we just came shy this whole move i predicted it how did i do it i used this top-down analysis methodology i used this to predict the fall of bitcoin right so um yes things are starting to you know bitcoin is now going to be something that people can easily trade and make better decisions as opposed to oh everybody's buying bitcoin oh let me buy bitcoin let me buy bitcoin no, no, no. that's about to change okay you know you can make more informed decisions when it comes to trading cryptocurrency so enough about all the talk let's look at the charts and actually see what's happening now when i predicted the fall of bitcoin all the way from here my overall target was down here at 30k we came shy of 30k and we started to shoot all the way to the upside so that left me a little bit startled because i was like okay what exactly is here that's making bitcoin not come and test this level right about here so i was like okay um what exactly is happening so we came you know we shot back up and then blase 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 long story short let's go over to the daily time frame <laughs> So what actually happened was Bitcoin was scared to come down here. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, so we were just playing around. This now became a supply zone. So every time we came here, you can see would fall, would fall, would fall. And then as you can see, we bridged above this resistance level. Now, ideally, when we bridge above a resistance level like this, usually the next level target is here. But we don't start buying. What we do is we wait for and I spoke about this is why I think on my last webinar I had predicted Bitcoin to come up with 52k. So what usually happens is once we breach above, especially when we come into, let me just move this up a bit so that you guys can understand. Guys, just listen to this. It's a trick I want to share with you guys. You see, when we breach above a resistance level like this and we peak above, right? What usually happens is we pull back into this level from some form of a base, okay? So ideally, we would want to come and fill this gap and come into this supply zone. This is a huge supply zone, as you can see on the weekly time frame. It is, okay? This level is a huge supply. So I was expecting us to come to this supply zone and then crash. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. It wasn't a bullish move. This is just, or what you see here is just a pullback of this entire move from the downside, okay? So I was expecting, you know, um, us to at least pull back into here and then crash. However, um, what happened was something a bit different. And this doesn't mean that 
Bitcoin cannot be traded the way it should be traded. It ha this even happens pairs like Euro USD and GBP USD, right? So this is why I'm starting to realize that look, this thing is actually going to become very tradable um, using um, standard price action techniques. So listen to this, right? So what I now saw was something like this. So what is now actually happening to Bitcoin is we can see this consolidation happening, okay? So what is now happening is what I like to call an X to E pattern forming, okay? X to E patterns. I'm going to count the waves uh, right about now, okay? So um, X to A to B to C to D to E. This market is going to drop. <laughs> Guys, you see, there's something called an X to E pattern. If an X to E pattern completes, best believe <laughs> X to E wave pattern has, has made me a rich man in this life. Mm? I don't know if I should share it here. I'm going to keep it on for the Forex Mastery students. I don't think I'm going to share it here. But you see, X to E patterns have made me a rich man. Okay. And that's exactly what has happened here. So anyway, long story short, we have had a false break. So this is, can be classified as a market manipulation. We had a false break market manipulation simply when we induce buyers to come in here and then we drop it, taking out all the stop losses here and all that gibberish and then we start coming all the way back down. So I can see an X to E wave pattern has formed here. Um, what's happening with Bitcoin? I believe. Oh, oh, trust me, I believe. I believe that Bitcoin will come down to at least $34,000 dollars per coin right but before we come all the way down here we have some things to do we need to break this level right about here so in the meantime what do we do okay it's simple before bitcoin gets all the way down here how can we trade it what can we say i have seen um give me a sec i have seen a level that we can most likely come down into so now my bias for bitcoin has actually flipped to being bearish uh, I was temporarily bullish. At least we came into this region, but that's not happening. It's been a fake. I like when fake outs happen. Oh, I like it when it happens. I like when fake outs happen. I love it. I like, you know why I like when fake outs happen? So it's a Fibonacci. It's happening here. Sorry, guys. I like when fake outs happen. Let me delete my charts. I'm becoming a bit clumsy and I don't like that. So hold on one sec, guys, so that I can arrange this for you guys. I like when fake outs happen because, let me delete this, there's too many lines, might confuse you guys. So Fibonacci play, uh, extension all the way down here, yep, cool. So this, this false break couldn't sustain above, has come back down. Weekly candle has also closed a reversal pattern. So I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm building a case for why my buyer should be bearish. First of all, this is a Fibonacci play A, B, C. We picked above it. Um, Fibonacci still held it. It's coming back down. The resistance level picked above it, couldn't stay above it. We've come out, we've closed back down below it, right? Delete that. So um, false break. So the resistance level technically has held. Um, Fibonacci technically has held. We might have spilled over. Technically has held. So everything's pointing here. Um, what else do I need to look into this? Uh, yeah, and I've got my X to E to X X to A to B to C to the pattern has formed. So we're also pointing. That. So what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm doing a mental checklist as to why Bitcoin should come down, right? See, guys, today is different. I'm actually taking my time to explain this to you guys. Um, Forex Master students will be mad at me when I do this. But, guys, once again, if you want to learn how to do this properly, um, stick the program, man. Link's going to be down here everywhere, as always, um, so that you guys can be gurus at this stuff and just break down the charts like this. Anyways, but before we come all the way down here, and I'm pretty confident we're going to come down here. We need to break this guy. Okay, this guy is going to cause some problems for us to come down here. But before we get here, um, I've seen some potential uh, moves that might actually occur. So if I just put this about here, Let me make sure that's coinciding on the daily time frame. Hold on a sec. All right. 
we have a downside target for Bitcoin. So if I just zoom in, so you can see monthly, weekly, daily, I have I try to understand where is it really going to. Then I come on a lower time frame, and then we can now see what's happening. Okay, this video is juicy, man. This one's gonna be. This video is juicy. Okay, so now we can come on the one hour time frame now you can come and put your little your little 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 things your little uh what's it called so we have the level right about here your little um freaking um indicators and stuff like that and just trade the markets man like but you can see where it's coming to 40k for 40 for actually 41k Forty thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight dollars per coin. Okay, so you can see where Bitcoin is coming to. So, I, I don't know whatever strategy you like to use to enter your get your the market. I don't know what you do, but this is where it's coming to. So, at least Bitcoin um, will drop to forty k. This will be the major deciding zone. And once we're able to clear this, guys, we have space space all the way to the downside so once we can clear this don't forget this is actually in confluence with that trend line that was going like this so i've deleted the trend line just so that it does i don't have too much on my charts so ideally i expect bitcoin to come to 40k 41k um, at 41k we will then decide what exactly it wants to do so ladies and gentlemen that was quite lengthy this doesn't this takes me roughly about two minutes to do by the way but obviously because i had to explain to you guys you know why certain things happen this is the most realistic way to trade forex guys those indicators they will wreck you <laughs> they will wreck you my guy they will wreck you let me now this what i now then do is i now check for reasons why um this shouldn't happen so as you can see you know this is you see you do your analysis and then you're excited like oh my god oh my god it's gonna happen always try and check that's why it can it might potentially not happen okay so another skill you guys need to build so from what i can see there's an inner trend line and at the moment we have broken the inner trend line and we're now currently testing the oh even more reason why this bad boy is gonna drop even more reason why this bad boy is gonna finish drop boy okay so i'll be watching bitcoin um so now that i have a better picture of what exactly is happening on bitcoin okay so yeah it might probably pull into this region about here test it will just allow this market test this place around here i already have my entry strategies in place which is obviously proprietary and forest mastery program i'll be playing around with bitcoin just a bit you know just probably short sell some coins and see how it goes but yeah guys it's exactly how you break down the market it's very simple straightforward and easy no indicators no signals none of that all that shit's not going to help you okay with gdp usd and bitcoin trade I should make some decent money in April, right? So there you go, guys. Once again, thank you for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. I have a lot to tell you on my other screen. Once again, shout out to the Forex Mastery students. If you haven't grabbed the program, the link is going to be around here somewhere. I love you guys very much. Let's go to my other screen. Let's go. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you for staying around for this short but lengthy video. You guys have seen me break down the charts as always. You guys see what I'm made of. You guys can see the, the value of the Forex Mastery Program. I don't come on here just because um, to preach about the Forex Mastery Program just because um, I made it, obviously. Because I made it, it's the best. But as you can tell, this is the most realistic approach to the market, right? This is the top-down analysis is the way to go. I, I keep talking about this because I'm trying to build a community here. I'm trying to build a community of profitable traders. You have to understand that I used to be um, a struggling trader in my early days, okay? And I made a vow to myself. I said, listen, the moment I get a hang of this market, I will share as much as possible, okay? And I'm here to save the Forex market. I am. So if you haven't already grabbed the program, once again, the link is going to be around here somewhere. But in the meantime, rewatch this video. Look at all the setups that I put together. Look at everything. Go ahead. Go forth in this new week and conquer the market and make some cheddars for yourself. Once again, guys, it's Dapper Willis. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right there. And I'll see you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out. <laughs> Bye.